the module itself is actually quite comprehensive. So on completion of 263, you'll be able to get a very good understanding of planets, stars, and, and galaxies, understand how things developed. And we're going to focus on the start of physics 263. It's all about electromagnetic radiation and the physics that you require to interpret observations and to make theoretical predictions. We're going to talk about how telescopes work, how they are built, the recapping of physical laws of orbital motion, and also then moving to the more astrophysics part, we're going to talk about how we can characterize and classify stars. Then moving on to how our own solar system formed, extrasolar planets, and finally to much larger scales of how galaxies form and evolve, which is obviously the coolest topic of 263 without being biased at all. Now, over the next five weeks, we actually have quite a complete program of the things we're going to cover. We're going to start at the top. Week one is going to be the equivalent of four lectures. Um, apart from the introduction, we're going to start looking at how we measure distances in astronomy, orbits, and some of the key quantities in astronomy. So that will include flux, luminosities, magnitudes, absolute magnitudes, and start with part one of section five, which is about electromagnetic radiation, specifically focusing on the continuum, black bodies. We're then going to move to how we observe the universe and telescopes, instrumentation, and also the physical tools about line spectroscopy. Before in week three, we start looking first into stars, stellar classification and evolution, then moving to extrasolar planets, galaxies, and in the final week, we're going into a little bit of observational cosmology and computer simulations. So the goal for Astronomy 263 is really to give you this broad overview, but still making it very quantitative. And if you want more details, the lecture notes also have more advanced exercises and solved problems, which you can have a look at.